Mikey Hatton. I'm just telling you to go and subscribe to Sport and Icons for the latest boxing news. Go and check them out. So Jake Haig, he comfortably outpoints his opponent tonight here in Newcastle. And um, when I got to the arena, this was actually the first fight that was on, which was absolutely brilliant. So, so he comfortably dominates um, Adam Jones um, to a points decision, 59-56. Uh, to um, Adam Jones came to this with 8 wins, 33 losses and 6 draws. So this was certainly a an expected win. No doubt for Jake Haig. Now, Jake Haig, he's trained by Ricky Hatton. You all know who Ricky Hatton is. Legend of British boxing, no doubt. And this fight was at super middleweight. Now, Jake Haig, he's 6'3", and he was noticeably bigger. Um, he did get clipped with a few needless shots, in my opinion. But these are just learning ones, because this is, in fact, his, uh, only his 10th fight. And um, undefeated still, of course. Now, it's his 10th fight in, what, a year and a half? So... He's been moved along quite nicely. Now, of course, he has been sparring the likes of Jose Burton. And um, obviously, he's a he's sharing the gym with not only Ricky Hatton and the rest of the lads, but of course, Nathan Gorman as well. Now, I like Jake Haig. And I do believe that he will go far. And there's nothing wrong with getting some points decisions here and there. The more rounds you get at this point, the better you're going to become because that's more experience. So for me, I enjoyed the fight. I really did. And I thought Jake Haig, as I said, he did get caught with a few needless shots. So a bit of defensive work is probably in order. And maybe put a bit more oomph into the big shots. But either way, it was a comfortable dominant performance so congratulations to jake haig and long may it continue and i'll certainly be watching his future very very closely anyway drop your thoughts below click that thumbs up subscribe catch you all on the next video